we are in March. Uh, we are getting close to the end of the month. It's going to be end of the quarter. Uh, the treasuries are no longer returning actually a positive performance. So a lot of global allocators who've been actually you know exposed to the treasuries for years, uh, definitely there is a, a big question mark as to this not going to lead to some strategic uh, rotation. So every word out of the Fed is extremely important. Um, the bottom line is that we believe that as long as the short-term rates remain well anchored, uh, there's limited risk because they are the ultimate driver of the U.S. dollar, as I mentioned earlier. And, and again, you know, an appreciation of the U.S. dollar would be for markets the, uh, the biggest negative. But with the short-term rates under control, uh, yes, we're going to see the, the long end being very volatile, uh, mm -hmm. almost as volatile as the equity asset class. Uh, we're going to have to actually navigate, uh, uh, you know, with that kind of volatility. Uh, it's a source of opportunity at the same time. Uh, but yes, uh, hawkishness uh, accident or is not uh, something which is impossible. So we're going to have to live with that. But in the meantime, we need to, to look at the fundamentals. And, you know, the revision upwards of the growth expectation in the U.S., in Europe, are extremely supportive. So uh, it calls for active selection. Uh, optimism and, you know, gradual uh, expansion of, uh, of exposure. But yes, there could be accidents uh, down the road. Uh, we we sure. have to be prepared for that. Okay, so as you manage your client's portfolio, if you had to invest in the bond market, would you therefore look at the shorter end of the bond curve? Uh, because the long end is looking really volatile. I'm hearing uh, and I'm watching and looking at the five years looking really attractive. Well, yeah, but it's still probably too early to actually, uh, you know, extend expand the, the duration. We we stay with the with the short end right now. Uh, we are also very keen on convertible bonds. Uh, we are also looking at cocos issued by financial institutions. So there are alternatives at the moment. But you're right, there will come a time where we will have to re-enter the long end of the treasuries, and probably they're going to offer a, a very decent yield down the road. So it, it's great opportunity, but it's probably a bit too early right now.